Hi, Marilyn here. I'm back with uh, for, with Cotton and Chocolate in block four with a wave pool. So now we're going to do the sewing instructions. We have lots of half square triangles to make. And as I referred to in the cutting, I did use the block lock. So I made my squares a little bit bigger. Instead of four inches, I cut them at four and a quarter. So first we're going to be using eight fabric B and eight backgrounds. So what I did is, and then I went down and put together all of the blocks on the table before I started sewing, just to make sure I had everything paired properly. So you need eight Bs and eight backgrounds. You need 12 C and 12 backgrounds. And then you need eight C and eight Gs put together. So if you pair those together first, you're gonna be good of all your four and a quarters. And that should take up all your four and a quarter cutting. And then what I did is I took my white backgrounds and I uh, used my um, Quilter's Magic Wand and I drew a line from point to point. And we've probably been through this before, but I'll just do it again. And uh, my pencil, and I just marked a line on each side of all of them because you wanna draw it on your lightest fabric and then that just has everything marked and ready to go so that you'll be putting a white or a light with your dark. And then I sew a little bit to the inside of that line, just a tad, and you're gonna be sewing all of these together, okay? So I had my whites with here, my whites with the blue, and then I did mark on this light fabric with my pencil and I was able to see it just fine. So I've sewn a few of them together just for the sample, but you're gonna have all of these sewn together. And then I use my block lock and I cut them all down to three and a half inches. So you have lots of these to make and get cut down to three and a half inches, okay? Lots and lots of half square triangles, but they're all the perfect size. And if you are need a reminder of how this works, I do have a video um, at cottonandchocolate.com um, that you can refer to on how I use the block lock. And I probably have it earlier in one of the videos with the wave pool. Okay, so you need to get all of these made and all of these cut down to three and a half inches. And these are the pairing for the three different sets of half square triangles. Okay. Then next, we're gonna be making hourglass. So you need to pair together fabric B, and two of fabric B and C's um, blocks, which are these two fabrics, and then also a fabric C and background, two of each. So I've done this already, a couple of them, and you're gonna make half square triangles of these and these, okay? Sew them together, open them up, but you're not cutting them down, okay? So then you're gonna pair these together. So I press to the blue in each case, okay? You're going to put these together and then you're going to draw a line with these together opposite. So here's my sewn line here with my half square triangle, the opposite way, and you're gonna sew a line this way. And then you're gonna take and you're going to cut right down the middle, okay? And when you open that up, look, you have that hourglass that's resulting in this. And you can press either way. I like to press to the darker piece, okay? So I pressed to that, and then you have to trim this to a three and a half inch square. So you either have to, you have to use a square ruler, and if, um, you would have to do half of your three and a half inches, which would be one and three quarters, one and three quarters in the middle, or you can use a checker trimmer. And that's what I use. So this one isn't pressed, but I'll use one that's pressed. This one's trimmed already. But the what lovely thing about the checker trimmer in this one, this one is a whole inch with the whole circle. This is a half inch. And you have a three and a half inch mark here on the diagonal. So I put that one on the diagonal with my diagonal line. And then this one is the straight line down that middle. So I have this mark here and my three and a half inch. I'm just going to turn it a little so that I can cut it. So this is lined up again. Let me reline that when I turned it. 
And then I'm going to cut this side and this side, and then I'll just turn it. And then I'll line it up on the three and a half at the bottom, but I'm also going to cross check it with my marks. And that's what's beautiful about these Deb Tucker rulers. You always have a cross check on your second cut down. And it's beautifully cut to size. My points are perfect and I have a three and a half inch square. Okay, so you can either do it with a ruler, putting one and three quarter in the center and doing it that way or the Tucker trimmer. Okay, so you'll have four of those. Actually, no, you have um, eight because then you still have this block to mark in the center, make your half square triangle. So you'll have eight total blocks to do, okay, and cut down. So those are your hourglass, okay. So you have your half square triangle and your hourglass. So let's turn this over now. So you have um, some flying geese to make and um, you need eight flying geese that have the blue background with the white wings. And this you can either do traditionally with your um, blue background and your white squares. And you would put a white square here on this side and folding it up correct, and folding it on the other side in the traditional method for your flying geese, okay? And I'll talk a little more in detail when we're doing the two color one, or you can do it um, via the um, wing clipper, which is another Step Tucker ruler. And I'm not gonna go into the detail of making this during this video since we have so many other things to talk about, but I do have a video on how this works. Um, from our YouTube videos. So you can go to Cotton and Chocolate, our front page, and it will direct you to using this. Or you can go to Studio 180 with Deb Tucker and it shows you how to use this in detail. But basically you start with one big square and four little squares and it will yield four flying geese. And then you cut them down. And I've already made those with that ruler and they turn out perfect. So I've done eight of my flying geese with that ruler, with this background. But the other um, the other one that is a two color, you can't use that ruler. So what I've done is I've already started this with one side. I, I've already made one. You have the um, shell fabric on one, the right side and you need a background on the other side. And so this one I've started, okay? And I am using the folded corner clipper. So you would put your folded corner clipper here. And this is a three and a half inch square. So I uh, just take this and cut this off. And then what I wanted to bring up during this video is recently I was teaching a class and we were using this a lot. And I would suggest pinning this. And one of my class members said, you know what's really great is using the sew line glue stick. And I went, aha, that's a really interesting idea. And so I've been doing this and it's terrific. You just take a little dab of glue on the end there and glue it. And this is a water soluble glue. We use it all the time for all kinds of purposes in the store. And it holds it perfectly on each end. So I did this during here and oh my gosh, it was terrific. And of course we do sell these at the store. And we use them for paper piecing and I use them for making my hexagons and all kinds of things. So really terrific. It is uh, for, made for fabric, like I said, water soluble. And I'm doing it in the sewing line so it's not affecting the top of the fabric. It glued it, it held it perfectly. Oh my gosh, I was really, really thrilled with that. So you're gonna sew this like so and then you're gonna press it up and then your white background, because if you're not sure which way it goes, well, it does go this way. Okay, so you have to figure out which line that will go. And of course, I can't cut it this way. I have to cut it this way. That's my cutting line. So in order to do that, I'm gonna to have to turn my block this way. There's my line. So I'll put this at three and a half inches and mark it right there. And there's my ruler. 
put that there and then of course I'll take and now get my glue stick and then I have a bunch of these to do so I would do this all at once and then just put my glue there and hold it in place and put my glue right there and hold that in place and get them all set and then run them through my sewing machine okay so I've done that and I have a couple of these ready to go and what's beautiful about that is that it holds your quarter inch and you have your three and a half by six and a half inch du uh, double color flying geese. So when you have all your components made, now it's time to start laying out the block. When you look at this block, it's made of four components. It's made a repeat of this block. It's just this block twisted here. So you're actually, it's two in each block and you have four blocks. So you need two, four, six, eight, eight of this component. So you're going to sew these together and sew it over here watching this intersection. Okay, so when I sew these together, I then lay this on top so that I can watch the intersection here. So you have this block here and here. And then again, the same here. It's the exact same block, just a different colorway here and here. And again, you need eight of these. Once you have these together, then you'll sew this section to here and this section to here. You need four blocks total. Okay, um, and it actually shows you the pressing guide here of pressing your um, half square triangles and then pressing up from the flying geese when you're pressing these together. And then it shows you the blocks together here. Okay, so then I'm going to move over to the two blocks that you need, the star block. So um, you just need to lay these out. You'll need two so you can kind of lay them on top of each other. But you have a like a little four section here. You have a four section here for piecing. And um, then like a double section here. I kind of threw in a block. It's not the right size, just to give you an idea. But a four and a four here. And then you just have a little double patch there. So you get your four section piece there, four, four, and four. Get your doubles with your white here and then you can get this section piece here and here these across this way and then this row section here and they get those kind of like pieced together okay so it's, it's they're fairly easy once you get all of these elements i think the longest it takes is getting all the half square triangles put together but if you work methodically and get them down to size then the final blocks will go together pretty smoothly. Then you're just gonna put those aside because then you'll make some other elements to get, uh, in the next month, you'll get the final elements so that you can start putting that middle section together. Okay, have fun, watch your points so you don't cut them off with a good quarter inch and we'll see you next month. Thank you.